Hi, I'm Patrick. And I'm Liv. And this is the Maki Blog. Today we are at the New York International Auto Show at the VinFast booth, and we're going to check out the VF8 as well as some of their other vehicles that are coming to the U.S. market very soon. So let's go. We were incredibly fortunate to be at the Los Angeles Auto Show in 2021 for the global debut of VinFast. Over this shoulder is the VFE35. Over on this side is the VFE36. They really got to work on these names, I think. Yeah. Since it was their debut, we didn't really know what was going to happen with VinFast, but it hasn't been that long since then, and they've truly exploded. Just a few months later at CES this year, they announced five vehicles and opened up the ability to reserve their VF8 and 9, which were their original VF E35 and E36. They've dropped the E because now all their vehicles are going to be electric. When we arrived at the New York International Auto Show, we were thrilled to see that not only would we be able to play with the VF8, but we got to have a drive along too. On top of that, we even got to interview Sanjay from their Smart Services division. We also got a peek at the VF7, which we couldn't touch, but at the speed VinFast has been going, I bet we will get the opportunity to soon. Only the VF8 and VF9 are available for reservation right now with a $200 deposit, but VinFast is the first automaker to utilize NFTs and gives their initial reservation holders an e-voucher worth 3000 or $5,000, depending on which vehicle they have reserved. On top of that, the VIN first, as they call them, pioneers also get some sweet incentives, like a vacation package from their resort group. Hopefully, this is something they continue in the future. We're excited about VinFast, but their offerings are a little bit convoluted and confusing. So we're going to try to keep this simple and straightforward. The VF9 is available in two versions, Eco and Plus. The Eco starts at $55,500 for battery version 1 and $56,000 for battery version 2. The Plus version is $60,500 and $61,000. The VF9, and keep in mind this is the largest model that they have, the Eco version has a range of up to 272 miles and 369 miles, depending on the battery. And the plus version has 262 miles and 360 miles, depending on the battery. Both the Eco and the plus versions have a zero to 60 of about 6.3 seconds. On top of this, battery version one will be available in 2022 to the US market, and version two will be available in 2023. But the real star of the show is the VF8. This is the model that was ready for us to play with. We saw it here in this beautiful orange color that was shown on the VF5 at CES. And they had two other color varieties on the EV test track downstairs in which we were able to take a ride. The VF8 is also available in two versions, Eco and Plus. The Eco starts at $40,700 and that's for battery version 1 and $41,000 for battery version 2. The Plus model is $47,700 and $48,000 respectively. The range of the VF8 Eco version is from 260 miles to 292 miles. The plus version is 248 miles and 277, depending on the battery. The Eco 0 to 60 is about 5.8 seconds and the plus is 5.3. Packed with uh, <clears throat> all kinds of remote services uh, where uh, you can uh, uh, turn the HVAC on, you know, the AC on, you can set the cabin temperature to your desired uh, uh, you know, the heat or uh, air conditioning. Uh, you can start charging, stop charging remotely. 
uh, you can pay for uh, services um, sitting in the car. So there is a VR engine in there, uh, we could, you know, uh, uh, the voice recognition system. So you say, hey, Vinfast, you know, um, open my sunroof, you know, while you're driving, you don't have to go and reach out and figure out where the menu is for the sunroof. Uh, hey, Vinfast, open my, uh, all the windows, uh, passive the window, set the temperature, uh, tell me a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I love so, that. Yeah, it, it, all it, makers so, have a joke now. <laughs> so yeah, pretty soon we're going to have home integration also. Cool. Hey, Vinfast, I'm approaching my home, you know, turn on the bedroom light or turn the AC on. Uh, so yeah, all those services, that's what I manage. And, nice. yeah, so. and, and I'm assuming it does EV route planning to route you to the Route planning, finding a charging station, making reservation to the charging station uh, oh. is part of all the smart services packages we, we're going to be offering here. Cool, awesome. And this works with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay? So, uh, can say right now, uh, okay. because uh, that's is still in works. Uh, it needs to get certification before we can say that we can have. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Uh, it are, will, <laughs> or should, basic or may. things, yes. Are there any ways in which you think these features stand out against yeah. other automakers who are providing the same kind of services? What I have noticed, uh, you know, uh, so I, have, I own Tesla, by the way. Oh, okay. uh, before I joined WinFast, so I own Tesla. The Win Office feature is just amazing. You can, you can access your email, you can schedule uh, uh, appointments, you can, you know, you can, you can create uh, calendar entries, you can invite people in the calendar. Um, obviously, you can send text messages, SMS messages, you can call people, which is a basic thing. But on top of that, you know, that home office integration, the seamless integration, uh, the way they have laid out everything in the screen is just amazing. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And there's some automakers where the car provides a response when it's listening to you. Uh -huh. do, do the Vinfast vehicles provide any way to indicate that they're listening? Yes. Uh, when you or is it just them? on the screen? Does the screen yeah. activate when you talk to it? Or? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you say, hey, been passed, so you will see the uh, right here. Uh, the, the middle icon on top of that, which is V, yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it kind of starts, you know, uh, uh, animating. So you know that, right. yes, it is listening. And then you start talking to it and it push in an answer, you know, you give, you know, whatever you want to ask, it will go and respond to you. So, That's awesome. Fantastic. Exactly. So there are a lot of features coming in uh, yeah. uh, uh, with ADAS. Uh, not there yet, uh, because uh, still being you know, because of safety yeah. laws, we need to make sure before we put it on the vehicle, it's Absolutely. fully validated, you know, tested. So that's, that's the phase we are going through right now. And you have information on how the ADAS is working? Because it's not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very hard to share. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe in future, maybe a couple okay. months later. Uh, okay. So the other thing that I'm excited about, I'm originally from North Carolina. Oh, okay. I know exactly where we coming the right factory right. is coming. So are you guys excited to be very excited. in the Tar Heel State? <laughs> this is Especially this is my neighboring state, so I live in Tennessee. Oh, and, wonderful. And for me, that was the best news I ever heard. Uh, that was a surprise. And, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, That's wonderful. It's exciting, yeah. Beautiful place, uh, and uh, we're gonna create seven thousand jobs. I mean, that's what. The prediction is and we're going to build the Giga factory, we're going to build the plant, and obviously we're going to have footprints in California for our headquarters. Uh, we are opening up uh, three showrooms in uh, California uh, so that people can come and you know experience, do the test drive. They want to. Uh, yeah, so exciting days. <laughs> well, we would love to come visit either the showroom or the facility in North yes. Carolina yes. and share more about it. Let me come on the other side so that I can oh, yeah. share. Okay. Yeah. Added his waypoint. Yeah. Hey, Vin Fox. Open the sunroof. Hey, Vin Fox. Tell me a joke. Okay, it's open. Oh, it's opening. Yeah. 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 I heard him mention it. I was really excited. <laughs> Even fast. How's the weather today? Today it will be cloudy in New York with temperatures between 52 and 66 degrees Fahrenheit. Even fast. Do I need an umbrella in Ohio? 
There is a small chance of rain in Columbus currently. The temperature is 66 degrees Fahrenheit with moderate southerly winds. Hey, Vinfast. How's my horoscope today? Oh. Sure. Let's see what the stars say now. First, give me a zodiac sign or a date of birth. Virgo. Here's my reading for Virgo. You're able to show your emotions and display them in a more obvious way, helping you improve your relationship and make it feel especially good. You find it particularly easy to express the way you feel. It's also a good time to get out and make new acquaintances. Nevertheless, conserve your energy. Despite all these positive emotions, don't overdo it. Okay, so, nice. <laughs> so yeah, we, like I said, you know, we're still getting mature, the yeah. and getting fun things, you know, making it more rich so that you can have that experience when you drive, you know, walk along, you know, then you find out, you know, you're going to open the center, you know, yeah. pull the mirror, whatever you want to do, you just say it, and it's going to happen, yeah. And what about air features and stuff like that? Can yes. Oh, control? Yes, so, hey, been fast. Hey, been fast. There's so much noise. Can you turn? Sorry, I don't think I understand. Can you set the fan speed to five? Fan level five. Hey, been fast. Can you turn the defrost on? Windshield defroster on. Hey, been fast. Can you turn the AC on? AC already on. Hey, been fast. I'm hot. Temperature down. So, uh, yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. So, I'm glad. Okay. It's really fun. Do you have anything else, Patrick? No, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, been fast. Can you turn the fan speed to two? Fan level two. Hey, been fast. Can you turn the volume down? Is this... Is that it's open? No, I'm just for no. charging your phone. Oh, great. Yeah, it's right there. Cool. So keep your phone, will charge. I like that. Parking reverse, neutral drive, lock, hazards, everything on the front. Um, are there cameras? Backup yes. cameras? And... Yes, so, well, first of all, you have camera right in front of you. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Is it watching my eyes? Uh, yes. It's oh, always nice. watching you. <laughs> and, uh, yes, there are backup cameras. There okay. are surround view camera. And um, uh, there are cameras in the front, cameras in the side, cameras here, camera in the back. Uh, this is for ADAS feature, which is coming. Oh. In a way. So, yes. So, do you get a 360 view yes. of the vehicle? Yes, you do get 360. View. And we can't activate it now? Uh, let me see. I'm that not sure cool. uh, if we have activated ADAS because I think there, there are some laws, I don't know, privacy laws. <laughs> which I don't know. I think they may have deactivated the ADAS feature. Okay. Yeah, for a reason. But that's yeah. cool to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you. We're going to have the ADAS feature, which is not there yet. But traffic sign recognition, 360 degree camera, like I said. Uh, when pilot automatically pilots your car, uh, you know, change the lane and everything. In the future. In the future. Yeah. Um, well, actually, it's there, but we have turned it off because it's not matured yet. So gotcha. Just wanted to make sure that gotcha. you know we don't advertise anything which is which is not a product here. So gotcha. We're gonna have assisted parking fairly soon. Oh, cool! Yeah, so uh, the vehicle will park itself. And, uh, Yes, those, those are some of the cool features I can talk about. Uh, beside that, like I said, home office is uh, is uh, uh, going to be one of those features that stand out among any EV. Uh, accessing your email, uh, sending email, uh, making calendar appointment, inviting people in the calendar. Some of those features I, I think uh, will stand out pretty soon in the market. Wonderful, yeah. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it was quiet. It was quiet. I did it. Thank you, Ben Fox. Okay, <laughs> done deal. Shake on it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you want to 
want to hop in? Or 188 centimeters if you're European. Uh, <laughs> that seat is really far back, huh? It is. Guess what, folks? Not quite because of the sunroof, but... You fit. That's not Six bad. two. For a round the block or a run from your house to a restaurant, I'd make it. Yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> Going to Ohio, eh, not so much. Yeah. I'd, I'd be praying for but death. you have to have knee room. Yes. Who is that the tall? Room. Yeah. I just need a little height. Now, <laughs> all things truthful, my height is in my trunk, not my <laughs> What if you sit in the front seat? Um, are you the person that that seat is... Probably. Four. Let's take a look. Thank you. I'm so curious. So nice to have a tall person with us being like five six <laughs> on a good day. <laughs> the cutout is enormous. That is a really good point. Question. Do these seats slide that, or you can do that? That is cushy. That is. I difference. love that. All right, but. The, the cutout is enormous. So that looks like the seat is set for you, huh? Like comfortable legs? It kind of is. I would actually drop the height. I'm not going to do it because it's going to be a long day on this pattern. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, you can haul someone my size. <laughs> nice. Good height. Yeah. So psyched. Set the band up. Oh my god. Thank you. Hi. Hi, how's you it going? So fun. What's your name? Ducky. Ducky, hi, nice to hi, meet you. Nice to meet you. I am so excited. We saw these at the LA Auto Show and now to like oh, be in it for real. It? Yeah. I know, it's crazy. Are you gonna go fast? little bit. Are you going bin fast? Bin fast. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Ooh, smooth. I think 31 was our top speed. Nice. You made that easy breezy. <laughs> this feels good inside. I like the materials back here. Yes. Thanks so much. Are we allowed to do any of the smart features? Sure. Hey, bin fast. <laughs> Open the sunroof. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Can I stick my head out? No. <laughs> <laughs> when we get back, you can. <laughs> <laughs> That's super fun. So how's it been driving this around all day? This has been a lot of fun. I am truly so comfortable. I've been here since seven. Nice. So, wow. yes. Long day. I like the, that, I like the leather feel. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's very it's real leather vegan. This one is real leather. Oh, wow. Um, make sure to, since we're right next to the white one, when we do get out over there, just take a peek at the interior. I love the color combo mm -hmm. inside. Do you know if it's unusual. possible to get vegan in chair? Yes. Yeah, so the um, the more I don't want to call them base models, but the eco ones will have non leather. I okay. <laughs> cool. Oh, you know what? And the um, console is not invasive like the some other vehicles. Yeah. Now I Can noticed I? the lack of a driver's mm -hmm. screen. Mm -hmm. Is that on Ooh. all models or is it optional? Or? Yes. I don't think it's an option. Okay. No driver's screen. Mm -hmm. Interesting. All on Tesla. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously the very reminiscent. Oh, and I have landscape. a head up display, so. Oh, oh that's cool. Okay, <laughs> okay, that makes a difference. Perfect. Yeah. What can you see on it? Right now, I just have the mileage. That's um, cool. But I can do, you know, turn by turn navigation if I'm changing, you know, Radio station, kind of just what's normally on if you've been in other cars with a head up display. Yeah. Cool. That's awesome. Thank you. That's good to know. Hey, Vin Fast. Close the sunroof. That is fun. Oh, I guess I won't stick my head out. <laughs> It'd be hard to right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why is there a head-shaped hole in this? <laughs>
One of the things that has been most unknown and fascinating about VinFast is that they have a battery leasing or battery subscription package. We didn't have any information up until now. They released information about this at the New York Auto Show and we will try and make those details as clear and concise as we can right here for you. Their battery subscription comes in flexible and fixed packages. The flexible plan, honestly, it sounds like it would be great for us, perfect for people who work remotely and don't travel that often. It is a monthly subscription fee of $35 for VF8 and $44 for VF9, and this gets you 310 miles of travel. Once you exceed 310 miles, then the fee becomes per mile and is about 11 cents for the VF8 and 15 cents for the VF9 per mile. Now, if you drive a lot or just don't like the idea of being limited or, or having your subscription payments an unknown sort of amount, there is a fixed subscription which allows unlimited range and this costs $110 a month for the VF8 and $160 for the VF9. VinFast made this exact statement in their press release that customers who make a reservation and deposit for the VF8 and VF9 in 2022 with the fixed subscription plan will be offered the same lifetime subscription fee. So my assumption would be that this fixed subscription rate could increase in the future and if you reserve early, you lock it in. This policy is also automatically transferred to the new owner after the vehicle is sold. So one would assume that if you buy the vehicle in 2022, you are locking it in at this low monthly subscription rate. But we do need more information to understand this completely. I don't know about you guys, but we find this a little bit daunting and confusing. So what do you think? Let us know what you think down below. Is this a bit much? Is this a bit confusing? Does this put you off from investing in VinFast or making VinFast your first electric vehicle? Does it seem like something that you'd rather do when you're more seasoned or are you jumping right in feet first or head first? Whatever. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please do give this video a like if you liked it. You can dislike it if you don't. All of it lets us know how you feel. And if you really like us, then stick around and subscribe while you're here. On that note, an enormous thank you to our patrons who must really like us. <laughs> Thank you to our unbridled patrons, Frankie M, Andy Ross, Marlene Strickland, Michael Bazaruski, Larry Kuhn, Eric Lineman, Joshua Eng, Lester Marlette, and Jonathan Ezor. Our engaged patron, Todd Mason, and of course our Whisper patrons too. Thanks so much for hanging out with us for the special look at the VinFast VF8 and all their offerings. And just remember that whatever you drive, enjoy the ride. Bye!